So two ways to look at it. One, you had anemic demand. It wasn't as strong as you might have thought. Or two, what economic scenario do you have to think in order to buy German paper for 30 years with a negative yield? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a different uh, dynamic, right, with negative yields that far out the curve. I think, you know, the, the mixed result today probably reflects a little bit of sticker shot on the part of investors who are not accustomed to buying long paper with a negative yield. Uh, but also, it's a, there's a tactical piece to it, which is that the market has a little bit of lift in it today after yesterday's softer tone. And, you know, that's generally not a dynamic when you want to uh, buy long paper. So I think you've got a number of things going on. But, yeah, the, the, the construct for that bond to perform requires is both much slower growth, uh, active ECB intervention in the markets, uh, and, uh, and a flight to safety. So let's look at that slower growth hypothesis. I'm going to put a chart up here, actually. It shows PMIs, both manufacturing and, and services. Services are a bit better for Germany than they are for manufacturing. German, uh, manufacturing is really not very optimistic. What are we looking at in Germany? Are they in a recession now? Well. Clearly, they're, they're heading in that direction, whether there's going to be a, a fiscal response or other responses that prop up uh, activity remains to be seen. As we know, the, the German economy is heavily export-led, heavily manufacturing-led, uh, and China is, is directly related to that. So uh, we anticipate China to continue to show mixed or softer trends, which will reverberate to the German economy. So over the near term, we, we probably will be close to or, or in a minor recession in Germany.